Hey there guys, Sean Michael here from WinBeta and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at the news and sports apps inside of Windows 10. These are pretty good news aggregators, certainly not the only ones out there, but good default apps that come with Windows 10. When you open up news, you're welcomed by My News, which includes all top stories and then things that you can add and customize from your interests. This collects news from a lot of different sources. You know, you can see here things, New York Times, Reuters, Bloomberg, VentureBeat, Associated Press, collects news from all over the web, puts it into one easy to find location. You can customize which things show up here in your My Interest section. So you have things from suggested categories, such as you know, automobile, beauty, you know, dating, all sorts of different things. You know, all these different sections you can add there that they suggest, or you can add specific things. So if you wanna know everything about the Surface Book, you can make that a specific interest, add that to your favorites here, and then have that show up in your home section and as one of these different tabs. So you get every story here by the Surface Book, including WinBeta's very own, how to configure pen pressure sensitivity. So some sites open up where they actually look like the website. WinBeta is a good example. So WinBeta includes everything. It has ads that we put in there. It has the uh, discuss, comment section, and everything. If you click this little globe-looking tab, that kind of actually looks like the old Spartan um, browser icon, it'll actually open up in your default browser right there. That makes it really nice if you want to get that full comment experience where it remembers your passwords and that sort of thing. Now, if it's a site that has this icon, you'll also see this copy link icon. So as opposed to a little share kind of triangle thing, you get that instead. Other stories, like ones from the Associated Press, are going to show up a little bit differently. It doesn't have that globe looking icon. It has this share icon, and it does not have the ability to open up directly in the browser, which, to be honest, can be a bit irritating, but that depends on uh, whatever site the original story is from. So in addition to interest that you can customize, you can also get local news. Now this is a handy feature because you can find out what's going on in your area, but sometimes you wanna know news that's in one specific area, but not the one that you're currently in. Luckily, this is easy to change inside the news app. So if I wanna change this to Washington DC, which is where I'm from, as opposed to Nottingham, which is where I am, you can just do that. It has these nice little, I'll call them tabs, in reality they're just different sections, I guess. But it has different news sources there, which is really nice. Uh, you know, a lot of this information in my area is something that I care about, and you can hear it from different sources. In addition to local news, you can also get a collection of videos inside the app. Now these come from a variety of sources, just like all the news stories, so you get videos from CNN, different news networks, Reuters, the Associated Press again, all that sort of thing. Now these open up directly inside of the app instead of jumping you to the browser, which is pretty nice. Now that's basically it for the news app. It's not that complicated and it doesn't really need to be. It provides a lot of information in a pretty easy to find layout and allows you to customize it for your own personal interests. Now in comparison, I actually think the sports app is a little bit more comprehensive and complicated, though the layout does look relatively similar. So when you open up the sports app here, you still get this tile layout here, it looks very Windows 10-y, and you get you know the white background pictures up here sections on the left, that sort of thing. And it's still very customizable. So the front page is based on your personal interest, different leagues that you like, and that sort of thing. Now up here, you have a few different things. You have news, scoreboards, slideshows, and videos. The, the sports app, even more so than the news app, is really based to give you a customized information feed about your favorite teams. So I, I have my favorite teams programmed in here. So when I go to scoreboard, it shows those first. But then it also has, has things from leagues that I like, like the NBA or the NFL, and it has other scores that are coming up as well on the schedule. It has slideshows here for the leagues that I like, and it also has a collection of videos, which is pretty nice, but those are found in a different location than inside the news app. Now with sports, you're gonna have your favorite teams, different teams that you like. Now the Wizards are playing right now, it's their first game of the season, tied up five minutes left in the end of the game. Maybe I can't watch it live, or I'm recording a video like this one, and I just want maybe the, the scores on the side there. So this gives you a pretty good representation. It's got current players on the court. It's got stats. You can go specific team stats for the Wizards or Magic where it gives you the players statistical breakdowns. And then it has the team stats here for a team head-to-head -head matchup. Now, if a team you like isn't currently in action, such as the Redskins who played yesterday, 
you have the summary of their last games, you have their schedule of what's coming up, and then you have top stories. Now, that's true even if a game is ongoing, you get that top story section, but here it's the only option, obviously. So you get all the stories about the Redskins, and they come from all sorts of different stories. This is great. Gives you all the information from different perspectives. You get smaller blogs. You get bigger news sites that are national. Then you can look at their standings. You see how they're doing in the division. You get the roster, full list of players there. And you get the scoreboard of their entire schedule that's gone throughout here and that's upcoming. So on the left here, you see all these different individual sports. These are some of the most popular, though not all of the most popular sports around the world. Now this is a bit America centric. It's got American football first, then it's got basketball, baseball, hockey, golf, and it's got what we would call soccer uh, in, in the United States, but most people are gonna call football. It's also got racing and tennis. Now these, unfortunately, as far as I know, are not customizable, but that doesn't mean that you can't add your individual sports preferences into the app. That's done through the My Favorites section. So you open this up, you add your favorite team, so you get that information that shows up on the home screen, keeps track of those things for you. You can also add individual leagues that you like. Now you can add favorite teams by searching for them. So if you really want to find out about Nottingham Forest in my area, that's a local football club, you can add them. They're going to add that in there. You can also add different leagues that you like as well. So maybe I really want to get into rugby while I'm here. This app has, oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm in typos. Maybe I really want to get into rugby when I'm here and you get rugby. It's got different leagues here. Maybe I want to look into the rugby championship. There you go, and it's got that down there. Now, in addition to adding favorite teams, you can also add favorite sports. So you get those here, American football, both professional and college. But you have a wide variety of leagues here. As you go down, you see soccer has a bunch of leagues here listed. Everything from major league to things that, honestly, you may have not heard of unless you're really into the sport. It's got racing, everything from NASCAR to Formula One. And it's got rugby league and rugby union. It's got multiple cricket leagues. It's got European soccer or football for those who are in Europe. Look at all these leagues. you got premiership. you got the championship. you got all these leagues that you can add here, which is great. really lets you customize your sports feed. And it even throws in that it's got Asia's, Asian Pacific League, it's got the World Cup, it's got Middle East and Africa. So like I said, really wide variety of sports here. This is great for an app, lets you customize, it gives you a lot of information here. It's a little disappointing that you can't customize things here on the left, but then again, these things are relatively new. Maybe we'll get features such as dark theme and customization in the future. But these are the news and sports apps for Windows 10. Again, great aggregators of news. They show you a lot of information all in one place. A lot of you easily follow news around you, news in the world, sports teams, scores, and all the information that you want. To keep things fresh, we're going to change the background image for every one of these videos in this series. So if you want it to be your wallpaper image, make sure to place your file inside the OneDrive folder in the article for this video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.